what is going on guys so it's right here we have let's see we're gonna go ahead and take away the seat covers on the passenger side finally and install some aftermarket seat covers just to go ahead and keep the seats a little bit more pristine finally after a few weeks of ownership I don't think so but here it is all removed I give you guys a before and after of the seat right here these are the um, 25th anniversary limited edition seat all right I want to go handheld for a little bit and give you guys a look at the seats it's the same as the second row seats bolstering is pretty nice it's not too soft decently firm thigh support both stirring on the sides etc and basically we have like a white stitching on black leather theme again this is from our last video this is a center armrest cover and we have i think incoming is pretty similar in, this, in terms of design i only bought the seat protector for the bottom portion of it so let's do a quick unboxing video a quick unboxing right here it comes in a set a pair so here it is now I got these because it's black it also has a matching quilted pattern this right here so pretty much it matches pretty well color wise too and right here is how it's gonna look okay and it matches this and also matches the black leather OEM and I might want to wipe this down a little bit but let's go ahead and try and install this as best as I could as quick as I could and I'll be right back all right guys so we just finished installing this portion on the passenger side just want to give you guys a before and after here's the after portion and it definitely matches this center console thing um, it matches pretty well with the seat, overall seat itself. Um, here it is against the neoprene seat covers. And you still get the backing right here, original pattern. And a little bit about this, what do I like? So far it's a pretty good fitment. It fits the Sienna seats pretty good. It has like a black trim around here, piping along the edge of the seat extends all the way over here like so there's a little tiny pocket here how does it secure there's three ways there's a buckle system that wraps that loops around here the sienna you can go ahead and take away this felt lining under the seat that reveals a lot of um, electronics and cords basically i looped it around and then i tied it and looped it here also there is this portion right here a latch system that prevents the seat from sliding forward. I mean, the seat cover from sliding forward. Let me go ahead and give you guys a better look. So you got two right here. So it works pretty well, actually. All right, and then it's very well hidden because right now, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. There's like elastic from the factory that I could go ahead and just um, put back like so. And in the front, here you have a spring, kind of like a clamp system, two clamps that goes right along the bottom of the seat covers. One over here and one over here, like that. And then you tuck the rest of this underneath in between like this and it stays pretty well. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up over there. All right, so the Ventilation is on setting three, so that's max. You can hear a little bit of it over here and you can feel it. It's pretty loud actually. And in terms of this, not much. So the bad part about this is this will block the seat ventilation. Heat wise, it's not going to because I had heat and it's warm right now. But in terms of ventilation, you can feel the ventilation here, but 
in terms of cool seats. That's a bummer. So, yeah. So it does block it off for the most part. That's something you have to kind of keep in mind for these seats right here. In general, if you want ventilated seats, it's gonna only come over here, but it's gonna block the portion that cools off your bum. Right? All right, so I went ahead and unclipped this right here. And here's the material from the bottom portion. Kind of rubberized here to go ahead and prevent any type of slippage. But it should be breathable. That's the thing, it should be breathable. But it kind of stops at the leather right here. So um, in terms of, because you definitely do feel the cool seats over here. But when you have this over it, it feels like it's covered. So that's a that's a drawback of this. So I'm not sure. This is a huge drawback for the summer. Right, I'm not sure, but the ventilated seats are dope. It's nice. Alright. So do I want to keep this to cover it? I'm not sure actually. I gotta do some thinking, but overall that's it. These are the seat mats from the Amazon. And this is a quick install, and a quick look at it. I got it because I wanted to keep this part from scuffing, going in and out from scuffing here. This part, um, I'll be careful, I guess, but I want to keep these seats pristine for the next decade or so. And it kind of matches with everything. That's why I like it. But in terms of like the ventilations, I definitely do feel a ventilation here, but when I put it over, I don't feel anything. Here you do. Here you do feel a little bit, but yeah, it definitely is huge. It's a huge difference once you remove the seat cover. So there you goes. There you guys go. Uh, I'll, I'll leave everything in the description down below anyway if you guys are interested. But for the most part, if you don't have heated seats, I mean ventilated seats, then these are these are pretty good quality for about forty bucks or so for two. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.